Many times when you're creating a presentation, you're going to think about different audiences you're going to want to present to. For example, I may be presenting to customers one time and then internally another time, and it could also be funders another time. So what we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to learn how to create custom slideshows so we can have one file that has several different slideshows built into it. So you can have easy access to those different slides that you're going to show to those different audiences. So again, what we're going to do is create a custom slideshow. So we're going to go to the slideshow tab, and then you're going to see next to from beginning and from current slide, we have this option for a custom slideshow. And if you mouse over it, it's going to show you show only the slides you choose. This is a great way to shorten your presentation or tailor it for different audiences. Just pick the slides you want to use and add them to the new show, change the slide order if necessary, and you're done. So therefore, you've got instructions built right in as I showed you in one of our first lessons. So I click on that and you'll see here that we have one choice available and this says custom shows. I choose that and now a new dialog box is going to pop up. And currently I have no custom shows and I have no slides. So let's go ahead and see how we can create a custom show with custom slides. So very simply, all I'm going to do is choose new and it's going to ask me here on the left hand side of the slides you've already built, what would you like to see on the right hand side in your custom show? So they make it very simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on number one, two and three. And then for here, this is going to be from my sales team. I'm going to go over to here and then bam and then OK. Great. And I'm going to say add just like that. And now you know what? I wouldn't mind actually having the history to be the second one there. So I just bump that up by clicking on up. OK, and then my natural language processing is going to be up before machine learning. OK, that's great. And then I'm just going to change the slideshow name from custom show one to sales team. That's great. Now I'm ready to click OK. Fantastic. And then I'm going to click on close for right now. And now you'll see that when I go to custom show, sales team now appears. So what I'm going to do next is show you what it's going to look like. And remember, we currently have 10 slides. And with this new slide deck, I'm going to see here I'm going to have fewer than that. So I'm just going to go through all my slides. And you're going to see it's going to end very quickly, just like that. So therefore, there was only those five slides. That's beautiful. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Choose Custom Slideshow. I'm going to choose Custom Shows. And then notice how Sales Team is currently here. And all I'm going to do now is click on New. And then this time I'm going to name it first. I'm going to say VC Funding Deck. OK, and then once again, I'm just going to start choosing the ones I want. OK, this time it's going to be a little bit different. And I'm going to say Ethics and Risks and then Future of AI. And now again, I'm going to have just these five slides. I choose Add and I actually like the order of this and I'm good to go. I click OK. And now you'll notice I do have the option to edit this if I ever want to come back to it. Same thing with sales team. So if I choose edit right now with sales team, it's going to take me right back to where I was before. And in fact, it's six slides. So if I wanted to just make it five, I can easily remove it. I'm going to cancel that. It's going to take me back to this. And then if I wanted to remove any of these or just simply make a copy of it and make some different variations for it, I can do that as well. And from here, if I wanted to show it, all I do is click on the show button and I can very easily present the VC funding deck view. So I click on show and now here I go. I'm going to go through these two, three, four and five and then I am done and I come back to here, go over to here to custom slideshow and now you'll see I have these. Now again, understanding the benefit of this, I have one slide deck that's going to have several different slide decks with different slides in them. OK, so it's really going to be a huge time saver. So you don't have to keep saving ads and doing different variations of the same slide deck, but on different files themselves. OK, so it all comes packaged together in one nice container. All right, everybody, go ahead and practice that and we'll see you in the next lesson. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.